Hey guys, welcome to today's video. So today's video is going to focus on how to use Ward of Dawn in Trials of the Nine. So to get started, let's take a quick look at the subclass and skill tree you'll need to choose. So the subclass of course is a Sentinel and the skill tree is Code of Protector. Ward of Dawn, when super energy is full, creates a shielding dome to protect you and your allies. Binds to hold L1 and R1. So instead of just pressing L1 and R1, I have to hold down the buttons to create the bubble. The same would apply if you use X to activate your super. Instead of pressing X to activate the Sentinel super, you hold down X to create the bubble. So of course with this skill tree, you have the choice of using the Sentinel or the bubble, given the situation. So when inside the bubble, you are granted Armor of Light, a powerful overshield which allows you to absorb large amounts of damage whilst inside the bubble. This guide is divided into three sections, Protect, Diffuse and Attack. I'll begin each section with some key information and then proceed to provide some commentary over the examples. So let's get started. Protect. Key information. The Ward of Dawn duration is 30 seconds. The Bomb Detonation Timer is 40 seconds. So as you can see here in this example, I set the charge and I plant the bubble at the same time. That means I have 30 seconds in which the bubble will stay over the bomb and there'll be 10 seconds in which the bubble will disappear and I'll have to, you know, try and keep them from diffusing in those 10 seconds. So you can see 30 seconds has gone up. They've pushed me, I've killed one. I turn around, I kill another guy, and that means I've bought enough time. There's only about three seconds left and the other teammate is not close enough. So the bomb is destroyed, job done. Here, another example, he pops a dome blade. I shoot him with the shotgun and now his teammates are trying to diffuse. I put my bubble next to the bomb. So if they come close enough and they try to defuse out of power ammo, I can just shotgun melee that guy. My teammate is behind me in the bubble. He's gonna start protecting the bomb now. I'm pushing the guy, I get the kill. And there you go, we've protected the bomb. Here, I get a bit lucky. The enemy Nova bombs two of my teammates. I kill him, I immediately pop the bubble as my biggest you know, threat is now taken care of the uh, Nova bomb. Now he pops a storm transfer around the corner, easy suppression, bubble over me. You know, it's me against him. There's no way he's defusing that bomb. Protected. Very nicely, I would say. <laughs> now here we've got another example. Um, this guy's trying to defuse the bomb. I put my bubble on top of him. I kill him, his teammates behind me. I can take care of him as well, of course, because armor of light, you know, gives you a lot of protection. Now here, I have a bubble. My teammate has a bubble. He's put it on the bomb. Um, I'm hiding now and just basically baiting him. I know they have a Nova bomb, as I can see on the top. So what I'm hoping for is that they will use a Nova on his bubble, just like that. And obviously they kill him, I come in, I put my bubble down. Of course the clock is ticking now, I've, I'm basically holding them off, held them up. The Vortex and the Pulse Grenade destroyed my bubble, but I was still able to uh, prevent them from diffusing. Again, same kind of situation here, they're all pushing me. Uh, my teammate popped a tether next to the bubble, so they pushed and they got tethered. So um, they basically had no chance, we used our supers together and uh, protected the bomb. Again, I'm in a 1v3 here, protecting the bomb. I have my bubble next to it. So again, anyone comes near, I can very easily kill them. Um, I've taken one out. One guy's gone invisible. I tried to get a revive here, one of my teammates. I tried to get the res, but obviously they push me. And once you're taking damage, you can't get a res. So he comes into the bubble, that's an easy kill. Last guy's trying to defuse, boom, easy kill. Protected, yeah, again. Thanks to the awesome Ward of Dawn. <laughs> and here's another funny example. This is actually the flawless game, me and Fallout. We're helping a couple of our viewers go to the lighthouse or the ice house as it's now known. For the first time, we've got a bubble on the bomb. I put my bubble down and they have rockets, but they have no supers. It's very, pretty much impossible for them to get in here and kill us. Funnily enough here, Fallout pops a healing rift and that actually removes the armor of light buff. So he comes in and suicides and actually kills us with the rocket. We not actually survived that with the armor of light, but the healing rift canceled it. However, there wasn't enough time and we protected. Now onto diffuse. Key information, the bubble lasts 30 seconds. The time to diffuse is six seconds. So here they planted the bomb. I come in, I pop my bubble and I simply start diffusing. A key thing to note is whilst you're taking damage, it doesn't interrupt diffusal. So even if you know the enemy starts punching me or shooting me, unless they do enough damage to kill me straight away, I can just defuse the bomb. Um, another example right here. I'm just defusing. 
and they're attacking me and you know it's very difficult for them to stop us from getting the defusal again he's pushing me and I'm just defusing whilst killing I actually managed to let go of the button there but my teammate was defusing anyway um, again another example they just planted the bomb as soon as they planted the bomb I ran in I put my bubble down and you know they have six seconds in which to stop me from defusing and a lot of teams were caught off guard by it. they didn't really know how to react to the bubble or what to do so yeah again easy defusal um, we've got another example here I put my bubble down and I think I even put this here in slow motion just so you, so you can get an idea of you know how easy it is to defuse when you have Ward of Dawn they didn't use their supers for whatever reason they just you know they came in melded me a couple of times but as you can see it was just you know easy for me to defuse <laughs> so yeah defuse with the bubble attack key information bait your enemy into pushing bubble time to trigger your opponent about two seconds and you'll see what i mean in just a second so i put a bubble down and this fist of havoc he's triggered he's slamming the ground he's trying to pop my bubble i step out i put a few shots in and boom dead i baited him with the bubble here i make a pretty bad push i push into them i take a lot of damage then i pop the bubble and when you do this you know it tempts the enemy into trying to finish you off these guys are trying to finish me, but they don't realize I have a lot of health now and I can easily just push them and bait them into coming in. It's just easy kills. Uh, this is another example here. I push in, you know, in a really, it's a bad push. Without the bubble, you're dead. Um, I face away from a couple of enemies. They start coming in. One of them gets tempted to push me. This guy starts reloading right in front of me. So that's an easy kill. Nice one. Um, the guy behind me again. You know, people, if they don't, if they're not smart about it and they don't run away, it's very easy to bait people. Just like that. So yeah, that's the end of the video, guys. I hope you enjoyed the tips and tricks of how to use the bubble. Uh, if you liked the video, don't forget to leave a like, comment, and subscribe if you haven't already. It greatly supports the channel. And also don't forget to check me out at twitch.tv forward slash shake17 where I stream every day. And if you would like to play trials with me and go flawless with me, that's the place to be, twitch.tv forward slash shake17. Thanks for watching and I hope to see you in my next one. Peace.